love, so it's your girl April and this is going to be a hair review for a company that I've actually already worked for and I'll post a video below and this is Glam Angels Hair. I was sent some curly hair this time around and this is basically their loose curl. Each person's bundles do come wrapped this with is this like some up. really nice hair, okay? I'm like really impressed straight out the package. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the loose curl closure which is 14 inches that I have here and these are wrapped separately and this is just a basic lace closure. For one I'm going to tell you that the hair is really soft. The texture or the origin is not like a kinky like coarse feel. It's like a very nice silky texture so I'm pretty sure that this particular hair is not going to poof up on you. You're not going to walk around looking like a dried up mop. And the closure on the back is one of my favorites, which is the reinforced side. As for the knots, one of my pit peeves are when the knots are swollen. So I always add, actually put the knots or the lace closure up to the light so that I can see through it. If I feel like I can see through it, then that means it, can t it also tells me basically that the closure is good. And with this one being up to the light, you can actually see like right through it, which means there's no swollen knots and I don't see not a one in place. So this closure is um, probably a 4x4 four four or actually a 35 half by 5 because it looks a little bit more narrow. I do believe the closure is 16 inches. Now on to the hair, okay? So I have four bundles. You guys know I love my hair to be super duper full and that's just one thing about wearing a wig or a weave to me. If you want to do it, go big or go home, okay? So <laughs> the hair that I have, they each have their cards right here on their actual hair. So this is their business cards which are attached to the hair. Now I will suggest one thing to them so that way they don't waste their business cards. It's just get little tabs and um, a little hanging tabs and put the inches so that way they don't fall off of the actual hair and people don't have to measure the hair so that's just one of my suggestions but this is their 18 inch loose curl and this is a Brazilian origin the bearding on this is actually really pretty it's really tiny so it's not sticking up all over the place and the hair does smell good. It smells like it was washed, so it doesn't have like any type of harsh chemical smell. It is a double wefted track, which is better for me because I love the fullness. And I will be squeezing four bundles on my head. Yes, y'all. It's like a natural color brown, like a dark medium, kind of like a dark brown color, but really bouncy. The hair is super soft, and I like it. I do like this a lot. I also have a 20 inch which is actually the same quality this one looks like the bearding is even better on this particular one right here but it's the same quality same exact color I really don't like my hair too dark because I don't really like it to be just too dark I'll, it, I'll get washed out I have two 22 inches and the bearding looks exactly the same as the other two very good quality hair and you can really tell that this is all from the same donor Glam Angels so hair they have been around for a minute and like I said I did a video for them prior this was about a year ago and the hair with this particular hair instead of me bleaching it or dyeing it I actually just put 30 developer over the entire wig after I created it and sat it in the sun for like three hours and it made it like this chocolatey kind of like warm cocoa brown color which actually held up really well so their quality is really really good but they're so supportive to a lot of their reviewers and followers and clients so they're always boosting their supporters their clients their customers pages on Instagram and I do notice that a lot about Glam Angels so you guys I want to tell you that about them very very supportive company so, so yes yeah, so continue watching and we will see the re finished results so if you have any questions or you want a unit made you can always visit my website which is on with the wind wigs .com, or you can also email me and I'll post all that information for you guys below. Okay, love, so it's time to get this hair working. So I went ahead and put some rubber bands in my closure. I do that. There's about nine of them in there. I do that because it allows me to have a little bit of darker roots. So where the rubber band stops is where I will not actually paint the hair with any type of bleach or box dyes. So I'm using the dark and lovely dye, and I have three boxes, and I'm just going to go ahead and mix them. I do like to use the box dyes a lot because it actually helps the hair keep the curl pattern. If you ever notice with bleach, um, which is a harsher product, it will 
create a pattern loss in your actual hair so I try to alleviate that as much as possible and try to use box dyes especially if I'm going for like a auburn brown or a chocolatey brown so I'm going to go ahead and get this going I've already went ahead and brushed and detangled this hair this hair is actually really really pretty and the same way you would just do with your actual bleach process I'm going to do that with this box dye now mind you I do have three boxes of dye it all depends on how much hair you have normally I will use one box per bundle so this is actually four bundles so I would think that three was sufficient and not enough now what I also like to do is once I went ahead and put the box dye in I will use a wide tooth comb and comb that dye through just to make sure that it evenly distributes throughout the entire hair you want to make sure that you don't have any blotchy ends or blotchy sides you know any missed spots in the actual wig so it's really important to go ahead and comb that through I don't use a brush I like to use a comb so I'm just going to continue to do that for the entire process and actually just take this dye and continue you know processing it I like to use the dark and lovely um, because it's just a really easy process it really does create like a really pretty color without any type of brassy tones sometimes what I do is I'll put it in a plastic bag and sit it on my balcony for like two to three hours because it's a really good it process and it'll really like give you a really pretty color but being that I'm doing this at night it's not going to really work so at this portion I'm just coloring the closure hair and like I said I do put rubber bands in them so that way it gives me a really minimal portion of dark roots I don't like a lot of dark roots so once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and I ended up having to use my Cream of Nature Ginger Blonde dye, which luckily I had on hand because I actually ran out. So this actually made a big difference in the unit. So I finally finished my wig. I actually finished this a while ago. I wore it a few times. It really got really hot outside so I decided not to wear it as much. And so I went ahead and washed it for a second time. And this time I parted it in the middle. Normal it is created on a mesh dome cap or a mesh spandex dome cap. And I did use a concealer on this portion because I did have a side part. So now I decided to put it in a middle part because I have a middle part. Um, the hair colored really well. That's one thing I like about the box dyes. It just colors really, really well. Unfortunately, I had to use uh, four different box dyes. And the last one that I used was the Cream of Nature, which was their Ginger Blonde. It is more blonder than the actual Dark and Lovely. So you will see that there are brighter colors, which kind of actually gave it like a really nice highlight and dimension mention to it. But yeah, Janet Jackson inspired me to color this hair. When I first got it, I really didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I know I did not want it like a dark color. Curl stayed and the hair is super soft. Once you wear it and uh, once I wear it and just finger comb it, it can get fluffier or bigger on um, more volume. So like I said, I've been wearing this wig for some time, so this is the second time around for me to wash it. And I always use my Coastal Scents Camouflage Palette, which is just a 10-piece concealer palette. I love this palette because there's different shades where you can actually more than likely find the shade that you want. So as you see, my roots are a little bit dark. Not too much darkness, but just minimum because that's how I like it. I don't like it too much because I really don't like it to look like an actual bread box or a shape sitting on my head. So I tried to alleviate any darkness. So once I've went ahead and concealed my wig, I'm going to use my Topic Hair Filler Fibers, which I highly recommend, especially if you have thin edges or if you just want the hair to just look, your, your edges to look just as thick as the natural wig. This hair actually curled beautifully. I love Glam Angel's hair and I was really, really inspired by Janet with this. She is long. This is some long, beautiful hair. Like, I really love the way it came out. Janet Jackson inspired from the 2015 BET Awards. I will tell you this, honestly, I don't watch the awards at all. I'm not like a music awards, a movie awards person. Um, I just don't like those um, type of TV shows. I used to love them as a kid, but now you really can't get me to even sit and watch a video, a music video for too long because I'm just not interested. So it was just by accident that I just decided to sit there and watch it. It's probably because I was making a unit too, or making a wig, but... <clears throat> I think I was I was actually making this wig as a matter of fact and when I seen her and her hair and it was like okay oh my god this is the same color same hair texture 
same length same fullness same thickness i'm going to make this janet jackson inspired hair because i just loved her hair she looked just absolutely beautiful she looks amazing with her white on with her hair pulled up flipped up to the side like she was doing the damn thing our glam angels has some beautiful hair like i said this is my second time around with them for the most part i love their hair i didn't trim it i didn't layer it the curls the hair is still like really really silky soft just so pretty like this is like some really really pretty hair so i would highly suggest glam angels hair by far um they are one of the best companies that i've worked for and it's cool to be able to go a separate time around with them so all the information for this loose curly hair will be provided for you guys below along with the products that I use. And oh, okay, so you guys want to know what I use on my hair to keep it curly or to keep it hydrated or to make it look lustrous like this. Because normally some curly hair looks all dried out and stuff and tangled and then it just looks like crap. I will show you what I use on my hair. Okay, so after I co-wash it, condition it, and it's damp, and I've rinsed the conditioner out, it's damp, I use this here, Quenchy Coconut Curls by um, OGX Organics, I think that's what you call it, Curling Hair Butter, leave in or rinse out. I just leave it in, and it's like amazing. Like, I use this on all of my curly units, and this only, um, it's $7.99 at Walgreens, you can pick it up anywhere, I actually got it from my monthly subscription box so yeah all the information will be provided for you guys below if you're interested in a uh, wig unit made or um, created by me you can always check out my website which I will also post for you guys below which is going with the wind wigs as well as that as I also do have in stock wigs which I make as well as which I just sell for list wigs so on that note stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and thumbs this video up and I will speak to you guys on my next video this is for my babies.